I want everybody, I'm gonna back up so we can all see this fucking hot dude over here. Fucking, where are you from? Because you're not from anywhere near here. You are too, you are too built well to be from Virginia. You don't fucking, you don't have 757 blood in you. I can tell. That's what I thought. Hell yeah. He was like, yeah, man, Harlem. What's up, dude? I'll kill you after the show. Don't let this fucking turtleneck fool you, bro. You're dead. And I was like, okay. Uh, yeah. What brought you to Virginia? And now I can't fuck with him because that's like way cooler. I was like, my life took a real bad turn and now I'm here. That's what happened to me. Hell yes. He was like, what's up with you? I was like, I haven't talked to my mom in years. I gave up. She, she started it in my defense. It was, it was good. Hell yeah, dude. A fellow guy in Newport News with hand tattoos. I figured there'd be at least one here. Hell yeah. <laughs> what do you do, man? I'm in the military. So I'm going nowhere. <laughs> I'm glad you figured that out early. I think that's... Was that before or after the fucking hand tattoos? You're like, I'm going nowhere. And you're like, all right, military, hand tattoos? You're like, I'm going to do both. That's... Hell yeah. All right, man. Okay. This got weird. <laughs> Isn't he hot? <laughs> you guys see that guy? <laughs> Me next to him, you can just tell, like, some people are built better. You know, that's just... Hot boy. Hell yeah. He was made in a lab. I was made in a trailer park. That's exactly... <laughs> I actually didn't get any of the, these tattoos. I just came out with them. I just came out. My parents like checked off the babies at the, the hospital and they were like, we want the white trash edition. That's what. It's a sedan, you know. I get 23 miles to the gallon. That's exactly. exactly. All right. Hell yeah. You guys want to hear jokes? You guys cool with that? You sir? You good? Yeah. Hell yeah. Dude, you look like you fuck with Harry Potter pretty heavy. <laughs> I don't know what it is, it's the stripes. I, it's something that tells me that you get pussy though, so I'm gonna leave you alone. You get pussy? I like that he nodded that, he was like. Hot guy, you think he gets pussy or no? If he agrees, then you definitely, you fuck, dude. You know. Yeah, buddy. Watch this, I got a gay friend. Matthew, you think he gets pussy? I'll take the gay guy's opinion first. That's what's happening this year. Hell yes. We're woke as shit, Newport News. Let's do this. Hell yes. I went to Cracker Barrel recently. Oh, Hell yes, dude. All those people in the corner work with me, and they're like, that fucking tracks for you 100%. Yeah, I don't know if you guys know this. I looked it up recently. Did you know, sir? that uh, the number of stars on one person's apron represents how many years someone has worked at Cracker Barrel. Did you know that? Yes. Yeah, okay. Are you the hot guy's mom? Yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah! He came all the way from New York to help you out, and I'm gonna make this weird for you, so it's okay. <laughs> she was like, I can handle it. <laughs> I'm not gonna mess with her too hard, because I don't want this dude to beat me up outside. Cause I'll take it like a bitch. That is exactly what I'll happen. I'll take that punch. I will, I will throw that fight 100%. 100 out of 100. I will take a dive. I will take a dive. I don't want him to hurt his hand. He's got better things to do in his life than anything that I've got going on. I would hate to mess up his future on my ugly mug. I would hate to do that. No. This guy, this lady gets it. This, this lady gets it. Yeah, I went there the other day. I saw this lady. She had 26 stars on her apron. Yeah, she was the original cracker in the barrel. <laughs> hey, thank you guys so much. I've been making you up your host, John Ferguson.